I will discuss about the movement of the car in Google Google Map applications and uh, this is my fourth video on the on the behalf of Google Maps right and uh, you know, you can see my previous video if you, you didn't see my previous video you cannot understand uh, the whole applications of the uh, Google Maps so uh, in, the, in the in the previous video you can everything you can understand everything what I have done the, in previous video today I will discuss about the movement of the car on your Google Maps so let's search uh, for example I I want to go from New Delhi uh, to New Delhi in railway station to IGI right IGI IGI terminals right so this you can see here and this these all the things has done in my previous video so you can see the previous video tutorial as well so you can understand full you know, everything right and right now I just clicked the right now and uh, the thing is I have uh, I have uh, draw a polyline with the peak location to drop locations so I just click the confirm booking and the car will move from pick location to drop locations right and uh, I, I just only show uh, how the movement of the car will uh, a car will move from one location to another locations all uh, right and uh, let's click to the confirm booking and I have clicked the confirm booking and the car will move from one destination to the other destinations right so uh, actually this uh, your polyline will be the uh, n n many numbers of uh, coordinate uh, right and uh, every coordinate has the different latitude and longitude right and uh, the points uh, that that point will be uh, will be add, will uh, will be go with the with the car of uh, uh, I will provide the, that coordinates from one uh, to another. So actually, I have only uh, only one coordinate of the drop locations, and from uh, need to move from pick locations. So that's why I that's why I have just only uh, applied the only drop location to move from pick locations, right? And uh, how I have done this, you can also uh, actually. When the movement of the car uh, on your live locations it's not the live locations uh, it's only the demo right and uh, you can smoothly move this car will smoothly move on your maps right and uh, just focus on your codes and every coordinate will be changed if, uh, with the all and new coordinates right and what I have done here is for the movements and if you you can see the previous video as well and uh, I just apply only one method the movement of the cars uh, actually let's see, let's see the begin uh, few things begin right I have this one's uh, let's loading here right uh, wait a few seconds right okay I have only click right now only click right now and uh, pass to the everything uh, latitude and longitude for the picker and drop uh, to the to this V controller right and uh, I have these buttons right uh, let's see I have this button for confirmations right and this is confirmations right and uh, this is your button confirmations right when I click the right now confirmation button right right now confirmation button is here and button confirmation has tab and uh, I have called this method from uh, my right display in right now we controller what I have here is I have only few things has added right uh, the car movement icon I have created a, sim a single car markers and that is the GMS marker is here right and I have uh, GMS marker is here right and uh, the marker icon is the move of car right you whatever you want to put you can put here for your car type and car image right 
and this is the car movement variable and uh, I have actually the AR car movement I have this method right AR car movement will call this let's see let's understand everything in the car movement process and when I have called this one right and uh, I have applied this delegate as well this is a delegate and uh, this is objective C types delegate method and its protocol and uh, I have applied this ones uh, for the for the movement of marker this function will apply for the movement of uh, car marker according to the radiance and and uh, bearing as well right and uh, let's see and this is the car AR car movement delegate AR car movement delegate this is right and duration what duration you applied for the movement of the car from one coordinate to another coordinate I have applied this right and now this function will call which is publicly and this is the marker right this is all coordinate and new coordinate okay I have uh, my all coordinate for example my all coordinate is uh, New Delhi railway station and all coordinate is uh, IGI airport right and the uh, map view will apply the, the GMS map view and bearing is basically this is the coordinate and this sorry this is the this is your rectangle this is your uh, slope or how uh, which angle will be uh, which angle uh, in which angle the car will move right uh, it's 90 degree 30 degree and 60 degree I have I, I have applied the zero first in the first times and uh, let's clear the things the call bearing and I cal, uh, cal bearing I just calculate the bearing the with the float this is the gate heading for directions right you can apply the get heading for direction according to your coordinates let's I have all coordinates and uh, new coordinates so I need to be uh, I need to be slope I need to be slope of the coordinates right uh, which angle let's I have done this I have done this I have done, uh, done this and this is from location and uh, sorry for guys uh, from location and two locations here right I have applied this is the f f uh, pick coordinate and drop coordinate I have applied right now or uh, that uh, type would be the floating right and then this will return the float and this is the latitude of uh, uh, from location and longitude of the from locations right and this is basically provide the radian this will provide the degree right this will the type of the float right and this is the lead for destinations right and this is also for the destination it will also provide the float value right and this float value I will I will uh, I will calculate the degree right it means the uh, it means that what the degree will be uh, will be uh, what's the slope will be there right and uh, the car will uh, what's the what's the move of the car it's 90 degree 30 degree 20 degree so I have this formula you can note it down here right uh, AT and 2 all right and sign T led and T long, F long right T basically this is the T right for the uh, destinations latitude right and F is longitude this once for uh, for the peak right and that uh, mu multiply to the cos for T lat this is the T lat for uh, for destinations right two locations and now it's multiply with the cos flat for uh, F lat it means the, this is your latitude of your peak locations all right and this is your uh, this is all coordinate right and sign for T lat sign for T lat it means your this is your new coordinate for this right a minus sign flat into the course this you have to note down this formula for getting the, your degree right and now I just 
I just uh, uh, I just apply the condition if degree is not greater than zero then that the degree will be here right otherwise otherwise it can be the 360 plus degree right that car will move your according your floating according your bearing right so this is what was this this is for this is for for get heading this is called calculate the bearing right now marker ground anchor this is i have applied for here for uh, cg point here right and this will floating your cg points and this this will provide your rotation actually the marker function will provide these functions right and rotation is this is your the marker will rotate according to your calculation of bearing right now the position is the all coordinate here now a second is i have already applied for the ca transition begin transition basically it's apply for uh, the marker will smoothly move from one location to the other locations as uh, the coordinate right the set the value of durations the i have applied for duration from one to another location go with the duration is two seconds right now this is for the key of durations and and i have applied also the set completion block that's the marker will rotate with this rotations right with the bearing if bearing not equal to zero right then this will bear otherwise this will apply right that's uh, the delegate will car movement of the marker now this mark this delegate will function will call here for the marker movements right now the marker dot map equal to map view now rotation equal to according to the your calculation bearing and transition will be complete for this commit right so everything is fine uh, from this from this uh, this class right and uh, if we if you if you are confusing with this class i can send you all don't worry actually the degree radians need to be calculated from here this was the degree radians actually i have a formula for this this formula is the pi divided by 80 180 and uh, another is the radian to degree the degree to radian will formula this ones right and and radian to degree degree to radian and radian to degree formula this ones just opposite of it right and degree to radius will be this ones right cool. okay and uh, what i have applied here you can see here is, and uh, when i click that uh, button the button for confirm tab i just sending the car movement right the car movement of the variable is here is the car movements right for the car movement and this function will call here is, with the marker i have created the marker what i have applied this marker will apply here all right this is the car marker right and this is all coordinate and this is your all coordinate what i have this is your uh, this is your pixels all coordinate and new coordinate would be this right and map is the what i have map cell map view you can you can see there and first bearing will be 0 0.5 0, 0 0.0 it means I have first time I have the move of 0, 0.0 bearing and that the bearing will be changed on your according your slope according your degree right of your coordinates right and uh, let's build again and you can see here's and let's see and this is your uh, let's uh, i need to be add from uh, uh, from chandigarh right i need to be chandigarh international airport to mohali right and i need to be go with the mohali 
Mohali Railway Station Road, right? Everything I have created in the previous video, you can see what I have changed and what I have moved here, right? Everything will be uh, will be implemented in my previous video. You can see that, and then you can understand the uh, all the things is doing in this video, right? And right now we'll click here, and I'm sending the pick and drop location, and this functions will call. Uh, let's see this function will call uh, the movement of the car will I have set the car icon is move car I have set here move car is here right and the car movement is dot car movement is the function actually this is I have apply here for uh, for the car marker is all coordinate is the same and new coordinate also the same because I need to because I need to, uh, I, I need to, uh, I need to add the P, uh, first uh, uh, first mark of the car is the peak location. That's why I have applied the both coordinate is the same, right? Now when I click this button confirm booking, I need to move from peak location to the drop location. Actually, uh, I I have most actually when I live. When I'm going to live in the car on the car, and the there would be the deducted locations, and the car, the driver will send the every latitude and longitude after 15 and 20 meters, and I just update with the new coordinate to all coordinate. I can uh, I can handle uh, with that coordinate in uh, on your car markers, right? So this is only for the understanding you and how the movement will call right you can you can just see here right all right you can just see here and uh, I just click the confirm booking and you can see car movement will call right and this this functions you can you can cover it in into two seconds right and everything will be fine so guys do you have any query right you can comment on my video right and uh, and don't forget if you didn't subscribe my channel subscribe it and like it thank you guys hope you can uh, you have a uh, you have all understand and uh, let's uh, let's see again uh, let's see actually that was the height of the from your from my screen so let's see again oh, wait wait a second I have uh, Ch uh, Chandigarh, Chandigarh, Chandigarh International Airport, and to uh, Mohali, right, right, wait, Mohali Railway Station Road, right, and you can see here Mohali and Chandigarh, right, and everything I have uh, actually I have passed. I have told you all and uh, what I have here is for passing the value all right all right and this is right now and I have passed this ones oh, let's like passing the value there okay let's move here I have added this ones right and this car will show you for the peak locations and I have uh, apply here and apply here the same uh, picks yeah, all coordinate new coordinate I have already discussed here and uh, let's actually that uh, skin was height that's why I'm uh, I'm again doing this right and this is confirm button has tab this will call the movement is doing right this is the car of move from one location to another locations right actually when you when you are live on the cars and every movement you can get the coordinate of the several from one destination to other destination the movement will be according your updations so it's only the demo for the movement of the cars so guys hope you guys hope you all guys understand the things right thank you bye and take care